Well, under the streets of downtown Minneapolis, crews have been working for about a year to build new infrastructure to stand up to our changing climate. A new $60 million stormwater tunnel project will run parallel to the existing system under Washington Avenue between Nicollet Mall and Chicago Avenue. In this Next Weather Investigates, WCCO's Aaron Hassanzada went underground to get a look at the solution that should last for another 100 years. On the surface, downtown Minneapolis looks a lot different than it did 100 years ago. She's gonna have you but below the city, seat. it didn't until now. How far down are we going? About 80 feet. As we say goodbye to the skyline, dropping 80 feet in 30 seconds, we step out of this cage and into the city's mammoth new stormwater like tunnel, designed to take the pressure off the current 100-year-old system. How far does this thing go? This tunnel goes 818 feet. Uh, this is what's called the cathedral shape tunnel. And that way? That way, uh, that goes 2,497 feet to Chicago Street. This one is a large tunnel. It's going to be the largest one that the city owns and operates. When this is done, it'll carry stormwater from downtown Minneapolis all the way to the Mississippi River, and it's big enough to handle a 100-year storm. We needed scale. We needed big scale. If it looks spacious down here, that's because it is. Yeah, it's exactly. twice the size of the current storm drain. More room than experts hope will need. I mean, will it fill no. at any point? It's well ventilated and lit, too, for the 25 workers that are normally down here. Many tell us they've been in much worse. As far as tunnels go, this is pretty glamorous. Today, the crew is chiseling through the bedrock, carving out the massive tunnel, turning sandstone to dust. Dust they'll have to lift out the same way we came in. So this is sandstone? This is here? sandstone right here, yes. It's softer. It's a project of scale and necessity. This is a really important project for the downtown area. With climate change, our rains can come fast and heavy, which can lead to dangerous flash flooding. Over the last 50 years in the Twin Cities, we've seen a 30% increase in the amount of rain falling per hour on average. Combine that with more concrete, more development, and it leaves fewer places for our water to run. We took a conscientious approach at, you know, long-term effects of the change in weather patterns that we're having. A $60 million investment to keep Minneapolis afloat for the next 100 years. See you at the top. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. Construction could be finished as soon as next year. We are told it is one of the largest Minneapolis Public Works projects in a long time. And tomorrow on The Four, Erin digs deeper into working under the city. Hear her first-hand account of what she experienced 80 feet below the ground. How interesting. Yeah, it will be interesting. That's huge.